if not for nothing, I could say without a doubt I have some form of hazardous road rage, but I think the silver lining is that it's not violent, just aggressive. And yeah, I get that you could argue that neither is beneficial, but you got to see where I'm coming from first. I think I should have more access to the road than the average driver because it means more to me, you know? Like you only kind of want to get to where you're going to until I'm actually emotionally invested in my destination. Simple. So you should get out of my way or I'm liable to be a dick. Which isn't cool, yeah, but who cares if I get cut off about 20 times a day. And it leads me to a sunny afternoon where I'm driving on the freeway, off work, sunroof open, music blasting, generally enjoying life, and here comes this red pickup truck cut me off. My first thought, there must be retaliation. I sped up out the exit and aggressively cut him off, glaring in his tinted window, saying fuck you with my eyes, only to see the vague shadow of what appeared to be a bearded man with shades on. I get a good look at the figure and then speed off thinking to myself, showed him. And then suddenly I catch those pickup lights flying in the lane one over. He pulls up close and glares back, windows down this time, beards and shades confirmed, staring. Staring as he drove past me, my first thought, there must be retaliation. But honestly, there didn't have to be any retaliation. But road racers know how to say quit, so for no good goddamn reason, I flip this man the bird, then zoom past him, weaving through traffic aggressively trying to create as much distance as possible. After about 10 minutes, to my surprise, he's a mere two lanes over, matching my speed. I look over to see him screaming, waving his arm, and all I could notice was this huge dragon tattoo eating his entire arm. At this point, we're triple digit speeds. He's illegally riding the shoulder to avoid traffic, and I'm staring him down between cars, and I can see his mouth moving, reading his lips. Pull the fuck over. I remember the time slowing down, thinking to myself, wow, how did I get here? I don't want to fight this man. I have no desire to do that. I'm pussy. I gotta be. What was my end game? I gotta be so short sighted. I snap out of it and decide to swerve into a random exit, and terrifying, he follows me, which leads me to taking three more exits, eventually shaking him or making him say fuck it all together. And all added an extra 11 miles to my commute. Hey, man. How you, you, you pause this shit? Uh,